guys what's up this is Manish Manu and you are watching my channel so last month I finished reading this book the boy who loved by Durjoy Tatta so I bought it on Kindle it was 76 rupees on Kindle otherwise the paperback is like around 100 talking about the book the book includes the story of a boy named Raghu who belongs to a middle-class family living in Delhi pretending to live a very normal life but in reality he's trying to overcome the guilt that he let his friend die in a pool so he was very depressed with this thought until he met Prammi. He met her in a school, she was a topper and with turning pages of the story, they become good friends. Raghu found peace whenever she was around and this is how they got closer to each other and Raghu fell in love with her. But this is not where the story ends. This is from where the story starts. Prammi holds a secret about her life which she never disclosed. This thing always annoyed Raghu and he used to question their relationship like many times. So the book has a dark theme, you cannot expect something good happening for a long time and this is what makes this book likely to be read. The way the plot goes, I mean it's written in a way like someone writes a diary and the book has been written from the first person's perspective and that protagonist or you say the narrator is Raghu Ganguly himself. The Boy Who Loved is not only a love story, it also touched some social issues. I found one issue that is the interfaith marriage. Raghu's elder brother Anirban fell in love with a Muslim girl and they got married. Their parents didn't accept them and they were discriminated a lot. The whole story revolves around the marriage of this young Hindu boy with a Muslim girl and the love story of uh, Raghu and Brahmi which is not actually an amazing love story. I mean more than that it's a, a typical family drama. So I'm not gonna tell you the whole story because I might spill some spoilers and that would not let you to be more excited about this book. So as I told you that the book has a dark theme which means that there will be a lot of saddening things happening. The characterization of some characters is perfect. I love the way the characterization of Raghu's parents has been done. Like uh, mother seems not to be satisfied with their children's decision, uh, father's rude behavior. Everything reminds me of the parents of 90s like the kind of parents I've seen in the movies from the late 90s. So you guys definitely know about the author, I mean probably more than me. So he's an amazing writer and very famous among the teenagers because of his young adult love stories. Honestly saying guys, it was the first experience of mine with Joe Joyce writing. Actually I thought of buying his books before but then I just found some great deals in some other books. So I bought those. So by reading this book, I would say he didn't disappoint me, of course. He knows how to write a book. It's very clear. The kind of words he used to express the scenario is amazing. I mean, he has a nice grip on the vocabulary too. So I have already gave this book a rating. And if you want to see that, then you have to go to my Goodread profile, whose link I have shared in the description box. I have shared a small review too. And you can follow me on my Instagram account and Twitter account whose links I have shared in my description box. So I hope you guys loved this video and please let me know by clicking the like button and of course share this video with your friends and family. So there's a lot of stuff coming in the future so keep in touch with my channel. For that subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified to my latest uploads. So this was all for this video guys. Thanks for watching until the end. And till the next time we meet, spread love, peace and happiness in this world and see your life becoming more and more prosperous. Thanks for watching.